Our book today, The Dark Game by author Paul Genesco, he didn't grow up wanting to be an author, even though he's written more than 30 books, mostly poetry. In fact, he grew up wanting to be an FBI agent. He grew up reading stories like The Hardy Boys and The FBI Story, but he never really knew anything about the history of spies in this country. Spying is a murky business, and it's not always easy to tell the good guys from the bad guys. This is our story from Invisible Ink to CIA moles. For example, George Washington was instrumental in establishing an intelligence community in the early colonies. The Culper spy ring, famous during the Revolutionary War, came up with this code book, which had 700 words, common words, turned into numbers, like the word advise was number 15 and knowledge was number 345. Then they would translate all of their messages into numbers and send just those numbers as the message. Benjamin Franklin wasn't just a forefather of the United States, but may have been the inventor of fake news. He was able to fashion a fake Boston newspaper during the Revolutionary War, and among the legitimate news ads, Franklin added an article or two of his own. One article explained how the British were paying their Indian allies a bounty for each scalp they turned in. The reporter noted that many of the scalps looked to be taken from women and children. Needless to say, when news of this reached England, the people's sympathy turned against their own government. Even women got in on the spying game. This is Elizabeth Van Lu, famous during the Civil War. On her tombstone is inscribed, she risked everything that is dear to man, friends, fortune, comfort, health, life itself, all for the one absorbing desire of her heart that slavery might be abolished and the union preserved. Harriet Tubman, most famously known for helping to conduct more than 800 slaves to freedom, was also a spy during the Civil War. She helped Union soldiers caught behind enemy lines get back to their soldier units. Also famous during the Civil War was the first manned balloon flight wartime air-to-ground communication and telegraph system. Choctaw code talkers were famous during World War I by translating messages into and out of the Native American Indian language. During World War II, U.S. spy training camps came to be. Camp X was started in Toronto, Canada, where British spies were sent to assist their American allies, becoming known as The Farm. Agents still train there today to learn new and important skills in the spy tradecraft. During the Cold War, spies on American soil used number codes transmitted by radio waves to spy on the U.S. Aldrich Ames was a CIA officer spying on America for the Soviet Union for money. And Robert Hansen, FBI agent made famous from the movie Breach, was caught making contact with his KGB agent to sell American secrets, delivering his messages in a garbage bag taped to the underside of a bridge in a park next to his house. All the way to today, where we use spy satellites and computer code to spy on our enemies. Learn all about the methods used and the people made famous or infamous for using them in the dark game.